also Vulcan loves, he loves support counterpick. Yep. So, uh, Alistair, he thinks he can pull it off against the Kaiser Rakan because it was clear what they were leaning against in the bottom lane now. Best case for FlyQuest Just is be able can... to lock people down. Sounds good to me. Team Liquid. Whoa. A summon is going to throw Impact into the wall, but they know that Impact doesn't have Flash before. This time, Piosha can land the Sonic Wave. He's going to go in, but Spika is waiting in the wings. Great counter gig in time by Spika. First blood goes the Impact, but Summit trades one back with the Boomerang Blade. And now he's just going to potentially want to fight right now. So there's a lot of action on the top side. Nine of the 10 players are up here. I think Rumble's Flash is just about to come up again. Impact, but he's getting stunned up against the wall. And Pioshek is there as well with the Dragon's Rage. And it guarantees no way he gets no. out of this one alive. No, no he dodges it! Impact's out, and he lays down the red carpet. Oh. And lands a true from Prince downtown. It is disaster for Team Liquid. And FlyQuest bounced back with life. TL tried to go back to the Impact basket and it comes up completely empty for them. any wins that they can pick up is another step forward to saving their playoffs potential as summit is now getting dove by three from FlyQuest. all the cc in the world is going to put an end to summit ways they are killing summit but they are giving up stuff on the other side i'd say mountain drake is one of the best drakes in the game team liquid game is a bang that's one thing we can guarantee this one's already set up like Summit's getting dove again. This is this is standard. Okay, but he flashes the fate sealed. Will be enough damage from Vickle. He goes under tower and Spika's taking it up. So he's got his boy tracked up and Core JJ charms him, but there's no damage follow up quite yet. Pioshuk is walking in. Can he land the resonating strike? Very well at the moment, which is great to see. You know, whatever it was, the Summit. Headshot. He's got Team Liquid reinforcements coming, but will they come fast enough? He slammed them against the wall. Buy some Pick but might be in trouble now. No flash from the bottom side of the fight. And APA is there. Of cryo top lane, but they need to connect in the right spot. Oh, they found him. Oh, a nice kick from Pioshek. Fick was gone. That's the numbers advantage the Team Liquid will need. From the second Herald, as well as first turret going solo over to APA. So he will be by far the more he gets picked off. Meanwhile, we return to the Isolated Summit show. We'll see if FlyQuest can make it his third of the game. And unfortunately for Summit, he's got nowhere else to run. But on the mean side, Team Liquid are trying to get as much done in the mid lane. They summoned the Rift Herald. They got the crash in the mid turret tier one. And now it's going to make the crash into tier two. Maybe they can just take it out all right together. They actually just got so much gold. That's Team Liquid, Liquid now have time to get in position to see if they can contest. Spika's waiting in this bush. APA sends in, and numbers. now, oh, oh, Core JJ in the mid lane. Nice pick on the impact, but Vulcan punts him away. Oh, and now Prince boy. is in the field, but Summon is able to flank impact, and he's got nowhere to run. The movement speed from Team Liquid as well. Run down Vulcan, and Pioshik is on the chase as well. Vikla is back, but he's forced to flash away. Pioshik is looking for Prince, but Prince is kiting him back, and he gets the Warhawk into the kick. Prince is gone, and Team Liquid spiral on forward. Now at this point, 4,000. 18 minutes, oh, whoa, but Vikla, <laughs> my goodness. This point in the early game, they just kind of give up and they're just like, I guys, I don't know what we can do here. But this past week, especially with last game, they have been fighting with every single breath. Impact is going to make use of the fact that Summit is not here to defend the turret. And we'll look for tier one on the bottom side of the map. But Summit being on the top side of the map and has the help of his friends this time around can take tier two and the top side. So still overall tower. But they know something's up. They know it's at least 5,000 HP. Can Spika get in there, but poor oh. JJ is buying all the time. Baron has been secured. Vickla's into the pit, but he's forced to go back with the soul unbound. And Team Liquid, they don't have to force a fight here, but APS is oh! oh! And it's the four-man pop blossom from APA! Can Team Liquid clean up the rest of the fight? Yes, they can. They've got the damage. Spika and Vickla are now left to the walls of Team Liquid. Team Liquid didn't have to take that fight, but APA says look at... I don't know when it will be for Team Liquid. It is now a 7,000 gold lead on their side. They have Baron pushing up the bottom side of the map as well. Vikla and Prince are stuck on the top side trying to get resources before what could be their last defense of the base. The inhibitor tower collapses under Team Liquid's will. And they're looking for the inhibitor as well. And they're just going to shift on over thanks to Summit pushing in the mid lane, going for double inhibitors. Not sure if they will look for the push to end it all, but they surely can. What an explosive game from Team Liquid from about the 15 minute mark to now. They've grown their goal lead by about 9,000. Anything can happen in any Team Liquid game, Rafa. That's why I'm not varying too far in tangent <laughs> land.
because you never know when they're going to try something. But Core JJ says go. Flash over the wall. APA combos with the Pop Blossom. Trailblazer from the Equalizer from Rumble on top of them. But FlyQuest turned this fight around. They blew up three members from Team Liquid. You said it, Chad. Anything can happen in a Team Liquid game, and FlyQuest are still in it. I hate them so much. <laughs> like, why did they go for that fight? Just, God, they can get the gold, they can win the game, but they're keeping it entertaining. I think FlyQuest could even be back in in this one. So, no. yeah. Mid and late game. Yeah. And they just kind of, they didn't commit at all. They weren't on the same page of fights. This yeah, time. from pushing in. Yeah. Try to collapse under impact as well, separate him from the rest of the pack. Vic Club goes on to APA with the Fate Seal. Pop Blossom answers right on back. Prince lands the arrow true on APA, and he might just be sudden up with up. FlyQuest gets the spike down and kills APA. And now the Magnus Storm in the follow-up. Can FlyQuest get more done? Summit is forced to join the pack of Team Liquid so they can salvage the fight. Pioshek and answers back on the Vic Club, and Yom with the flash forward takes out the most members of FlyQuest, but they're still on impact. Summit flashing away, but it's still enough damage. Impact burning alive with the stopwatch, but he's burning down Core JJ. Oh, but Yon Yon. Has the damage. And now it's just Prince. Because the threat of a Nico flank is very high. They're gonna try though. Yawn and Pioshek are burning it down as fast as they can. APA marks off Vikla and they get the Baron Donna? down. APA can just walk away. Vikla is very low, so he's out of this fight. And the rest of FlyQuest now have to retreat. Vulcan is left to the Wolves. And Team Liquid get one pick off and the Baron on their side. Yeah, the Baron DPS from the Kai'Sa is just so high. They can just two man it and kill it much faster than FlyQuest would have expected. I think they're going to be going for the end right now, actually. They're at least going to cycle these inhibitors because there's still a minute and a half until the next Drake. If they find an engage, I expect them to try and end. If they want to push it, now would be a time. You have 18 seconds before Vulcan comes up. But Sika says they're going to fight on their own terms, and they find Yon, they pop him! That means AP is the only damage left standing, and he's on the right side of the field here. Core JJ is forced out, Pioshek is forced out, Summit can't go Mega! The inhibitor falls, but Flight River here. Impact oh, is coming AP around. has a flank, they can kill Impact. They, they want to look for Impact, make sure that he doesn't get his equalizer. Nice kick! Oh my god, that was beautiful! The kick into the Pop Blossom! Geometry classes, 10 points for Pioshek and APA, and now FlyQuest, they are pincered here. There's no Pop Blossom available, but APA and Pioshek are forcing Vickla's hand, and with the soul unbound, he will be forced to return back into Summit's waiting arms as he throws him into the wall! Team Liquid have the numbers advantage, they take out speak it's only Prince left! Surely this should be the end of the game! Prince! I don't know if he could do it. It's just one man against four. It would be a miracle, but Summit is going to deny him the ability to go walk into the fountain and look for the respawn, the regen of the HP. He's kiting back as much as he can. He's doing a ton of damage, but can he put out against four? I don't think so. Team Liquid is gonna lock this one away, knocking out Prince and claiming their playoff spot. Never a doubt for Team Liquid after that experience.